Today I'll show you how to display tweets on your WordPress website and we'll cover four different methods so you can pick the one that works best for you. So let's dive in. For the first method, we're going to add recent tweets using a Twitter feed plugin. This is just the easiest method to add recent tweets into a blog post or really anywhere that you need to on your WordPress website. And the plugin that we're going to use is called Smash Balloon custom Twitter feeds pro. Now they do have a free version in the WordPress repository, but I'm going to use the paid plugin to show you all the features that smash balloon can do for you. So we'll head over to smash balloon and you'll want to create a, an account by getting smash balloon. Once you do that, you can go to your account. We'll go to download so we can download the Twitter plugin. Now smash balloon is really cool. They have not just Twitter feed plugin, but they have Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and then they have a really cool feature where they can bring all of them together in a social wall. So you see everything in a social wall. So it's really cool features that they have. So we're going to do custom Twitter feeds. That's the plugin that we'll want to download. I'm also going to copy the license key as well. Great. Once it's copied, we need to head back over to our WordPress dashboard. And from here, we want to go to plugins, add new. And if you're wanting to do the free one, you can search for smash balloon here. We're uploading the premium version. So I'm going to click upload plugin. And I have this down here, so I can left click and drag this up, or you can choose file and search for it on your desktop. Let's go ahead and click install now. And once you install it, you'll also want to stick around to activate the plugin. Great. Now that's activated. We'll want to scroll down. We can either click here, or if you ever need to come back over on the left, you have Twitter feeds and license. So we can click there so we can enter our license key. So I'm going to paste in the license key that I copied and go ahead and activate the license. Great, now that everything's active, let's go ahead and click on the configure tab so we can get everything configured for it. From here, we want to click on the big blue button to log in and authorize the app. Great, once we click on the button and authorize the app, then it'll bring back the access token and the access token secret. So that is perfect. We can just save changes to, just to make sure everything is saved. And now from here, you can choose what you want to showcase. You can either do user timeline. You can also do other things like showing tweets based on different hashtags, search items, mentions, phrases. You can also choose to include replies and retweets. So for this one, I'm going to use WP beginner. But you can do all of these as well. You can show how many to display and how often to check it. Let's go ahead and click save changes. Next, we need to customize it. So let's go on the customize tab. So we can showcase how we want it to look. First, you have all of this information here that you want to do. You also have three different layouts that you can showcase. I'm going to keep the list layout because I like that the best. You can also choose what to show and hide here as well as a few other items. I'm going to just click Save Changes because the default is perfect for what I want to do. And now we can go to the Style tab. Now the Style tab is how it looks and feels with your theme. By default, it will take on many of the theme of your themes, colors and fonts. But if you wanted it to look differently, you could select colors here. Now we're ready to display our feed on our site. So let's go ahead and just click on display your feed. And from here, you can choose the short code that you want. There are multiple ways that you can showcase your Twitter feed. I'm just going to click this one because it is from all of the changes that I made in configuration, customize and style. So it's going to take that on but just know that you have all of these other examples that you can do as well. The cool thing about this is you can also showcase any other Twitter profile or Twitter list that you want. You don't have to do just yours. And for this one, we're going to go to pages. This works on posts, pages, or widget areas. So I'm going to showcase this in our front page. So I'm going to click edit. And for this one, I'm just going to scroll down, click on the plus block. And from here, we want to search for short code. I'll click on short code and I'm going to paste in that short code that I just copied for custom Twitter feeds. We could update this and now we can see it in action. Great. And now that pulls that in and it's pulling in the top five. And then you also have a cool little feature where if you want to load more, you can load more here. Now with the second method, you can manually add your Twitter profile to something like a widget or something like that. And this is similar to when you're adding a YouTube video, it just embeds. WordPress uses the O embed feature that allows you to simply add a link and then it will embed that content on your site. So let's walk through that step. So for this one, I want to embed our WP beginner Twitter handle. So I'm going to go to twitter.com forward slash WP beginner. I want to copy this. And then we can head back over to our site. And for this one, I want to do a widget. So let's go to appearance. We'll go to widgets. 
So I'm going to scroll down and I'm looking for the text widget. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to put it in the footer section. And I'm just going to paste the Twitter handle that I have. And you see, as soon as I paste it, it already starts to bring in all of the information and brings that on. So we then we can save this and then we can see it live on our site. And now when I see it, I can see that I have my Twitter widget coming up and all of the tweets coming in. So it looks really good. Now you want to change it up to make it look like you want for your design of your site. But that's a real simple way to bring over all of the tweets from that handle. The third method is by using something called the Twitter publish. And this allows you to do Twitter content, including a tweet, collection, profile, list, a moment, or a hashtag. So what we need to do is go to publish.twitter.com and it asks, what do you want to embed? And for this, we'll also do our WP beginner, hit the arrow button. And then here are our display options. So we can embed the timeline or we can do Twitter buttons. For this one, we'll just do a little bit different. Do a follow button. And then this is all the code that we want to copy. So we'll click copy and lets us know that we copied it. Now we'll head back over to the widget section. And this will be a little bit different because we actually need to do custom HTML. So in, uh, we'll drag the custom HTML widget to footer area two. I'm going to right click and paste that embed code and we'll click save. Now, when we go back to our footer area, this is what I chose. You, there are a few other choices that you can make, but that's what I chose to do the follow us button. And then the fourth method, if you want, you can check out our article in the description below. It is a way to manually show selective tweets and you can read about that there. And if you're trying to get more social media engagement on your WordPress website, then make sure you watch this video next where I walk you through how to create a custom Instagram feed on your WordPress website. And I'll see you over there.